What's up you guys? It's again MJ back with another video. In today's video, we are eating on some rice cakes, Korean rice cakes with noodles. Um, this is the pre, you know, carbo little boxes you can buy. And I also made some homemade fried chicken and I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's dig in. I'm just gonna pour some up for my fiance. Oh. This is the first time you're, we are having this meal. So I'm super excited to see how it tastes. Here you go. All right, I'm just gonna take some here. I've never had this before. Oh my God. Oh my God, my God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh my god you guys Man. Oh my god. I wish you could taste what I'm tasting. Oh my god. Let's try the fried chicken. In my previous video, I made a sweet and sour sauce with um, the one time spicy sauce. So I enjoyed that meal so much, so I decided to recreate it. I'm never buying fried chicken again. This came out so good and it was so easy to make. Mm. 
This is so good. I don't even want to talk. So, talk to you later. Mm. Mm. Clean the bones, okay? <laughs> mm. Maybe I should have added a little more water, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to add the water first because I was like, um, maybe all the flavor would have been left, you know, in the in the pan. But I could have like uh, used a spoon or something to, you know, have it as a soup. Mm. I also got some um, sour cream sauce, sour cream onion sauce. Um, let's see if it's good. <laughs> I usually have um, this, uh, what's it called, sour cream onion sauce with Tabasco and fried chicken. And oh my god, it's so delicious. If you haven't tried it, do so. Mm. It's good. Mm. I can eat the veins if I don't see them. <laughs> if I see them, I'm going to take them off. Mm. So, how y'all been doing? I know it's a lot going on around the world, in the US, so if you're from the US and you're watching, please stay safe, take care of yourselves. I don't want to comment too much about, you know, what's going on, going on because YouTube is very sensitive. And I don't want to, you know, talk about it. And because if you're monetized and you talk about stuff that they want to censor, they just demonetize your video. So we have to be careful about what we talk. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see my thoughts on everything. I repost and, you know, I try to do what I can as best as I can. Jeez, I am, I am so hot. Um, I just 
before I started the video I just got done cooking and it got so hot in the kitchen and the weather is also changing so it's getting uh, warmer in Sweden and uh, the weather is like it's it's warm but it's like wet the air is kind of wet so it's like oh I don't know it just sticks in the air and the uh, and the uh, heat is just you know sticks on your skin and you know I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but Mm. Honestly, <coughs> ooh, <coughs> almost <coughs> in the wrong throat pipe. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I've seen a lot of people eat this. I think they they're called tego taboki. Um, I've seen a lot of people eat these and every time I've seen one of those videos I'm like oh man that looks so good and the thing is that in Sweden you can't really find the rice cakes by themselves um, so the website that I usually order my noodles from because we don't have like a Korean or Asian shop or store where you can buy uh, whatever you want to it's uh, it's not that common in Sweden to you know um, at, le at least not the city that I am in because the city that I'm in it's not that big I'm pretty sure there uh, yeah there must be in the bigger cities um, yeah I'm positive that there are in the bigger cities but it's in Växjö where I live we don't have that kind of store so I have to order everything online so the web uh, website that I you uh, or the order my noodles from they had these carbo tabokis and I was like uh, yeah I bought them two packages because I wasn't sure if I would like them oh uh, so I only bought two and they were really expensive one package cost me 70 crowns and that's around like eight dollars and uh, I was like whoa you know so I only bought two but it's still so delicious I might um, research on how to make the rice cakes um, or like you know a research for a website that might have them I don't know but I have to find them because they are delicious Um, they uh, usually they, they don't come with the noodles but I felt like adding some noodles in there I've seen a lot of um, you know these street food videos from like Korea and stuff so I've been watching those videos so I've seen a lot of people make uh, the rice cakes on camera so I was like I'm going to try to replicate what I've seen on the videos and hopefully it turns out good and yeah they definitely did turn out good I had some um, I think it's uh, called I'm probably not gonna pronounce this right but 
gochujang sauce or paste it's basically korean uh chili paste that i've seen yeah almost everyone puts that in here so i was like i'm going to do it as well But it is spicy though. It's very spicy. And my sauce is spicy and my chicken is spicy. <laughs> Everything is spicy. My fiance has gotten used to me cooking spicy food. But he felt like the food today was a bit spicy. I love the color and everything. I wish I had some Tabasco. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is my first time making fried chicken this way and honestly it turned out so good just i went a bit heavy with the salt because i thought that a lot of the seasonings um would disappear would disappear in the oil but Sorry about that sound, but I don't feel like it did. However you flavor the chicken, that's how it's gonna taste. Yeah, these ones are without any flour. These are naked, so it's just some seasoning on there and nothing else. And as I told, <coughs> ASMR uh, cravings, we did marinate them since yesterday. So they were in the fridge overnight, marinating in the seasoning. So <coughs> they are very flavorful and very delicious. Let's have some more of these. I know they call it different um, things depending on if you're having it as a soup or with noodles I think but um I'm not sure it 
I need to check with my friends from Asia. <laughs> A lot of people put like eggs and vegetables in here but since I'm having fried chicken with it mm. I didn't want to go overboard I have um, other chopsticks that's not out of metal. I should have got those. I should have used those, but um, I feel like they are so slippery. So if I'm making loud um, uh, noises with my chopsticks, I'm so sorry. I hope you can bear with me. I am getting full though, <laughs> but it's so delicious. I don't even know if you can see. Sorry. Sorry, needed that. be honest I love eating with chopsticks I'm not a pro but I'm definitely uh, trying to master the chopsticks but um, the technique that I'm using I don't think that's the best technique I've seen some other techniques but I don't know how they how they do it. <coughs> so mm. I'm getting really full. Mm. It's so delicious though. I'm so full.
water so delicious so y'all know I bought a new mic uh, I think it was like two or three weeks ago and um, the mic was just not working uh, for me um, so what I did I did go onto YouTube because you can find literally anything on YouTube so I was uh, searching for you know mics that works with phones because uh, as most of you guys know I use my phone when I'm recording so um, I have to have a microphone that works with that and right now I'm using the uh, lavalier but uh, this is like a random brand so it's not the best quality and I really want to upgrade my sorry my sound so I did some research and I found uh, the road mic and I've been doing some research on it and the more I do look it up and you know compare it to other mics I I'm starting to you know really like that mic so I'm thinking about ordering the video mic the road video mic because I think there are three the road video mic go uh, that's the cheapest one and then you have road video mic and road video mic pro I really want to have the road video mic pro but it is a bit pricier and I don't think I want to spend that much money on a mic right now so I will save uh, that mic until later uh, and I decided to go with uh, the Rode video mic and I saw this YouTube guy that did a comparison on all three mics and I really liked the you know the sound and the quality I'm sorry for the there's some kids playing outside <laughs> so if you hear some ball playing or whatever it's them and I'm sorry but it's, it's okay I'm not eating right now anyways but yeah so I, I'm, I'm, tr I'm uh, thinking about ordering that mic um, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure yet so I think I'm gonna you know think about it a little more but yeah the mic that I bought um, it was called uh, a Mira mic I think something like that and that white mic is uh, for you know gaming and having podcasts so you know for me to mukbang uh, it wasn't the best mic because I had have, had to have it really close to me uh, and I don't have you know the space or you know I don't know really how I would work that out so I did go back to the store and uh, return it and it was this girl um, taking you know uh, helping me out and she was so nice it's a girl that uh, I know through you know mutual friends and she's a really sweet girl and she helped me and she was so nice about it so if you go to Media Mart they have really good you know customer service but yeah you guys um, I'm, I'm just rambling <laughs> but I am full I'm very very happy with my food today I feel like it was such a um, different and delicious food and uh, I, am, I am very very satisfied so if you like this video and you enjoyed the food as much as I did please give it a big thumbs up and also leave a comment if you if you want to I would love to chat with you guys and you know share some words in the comments <laughs> and uh, most importantly than all subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified every time I upload a new video that way you will never miss a video or you might do because sometimes YouTube is a little shady you know they sometimes uh, give the notification and sometimes they don't I don't know why but it just works that way but um, without further ado I'm gonna stop talking and I'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye